Hello my friend, this is Sophia from sophiaoja.com. Today I want to show you how you can change your unsubscribe button at the foot of your emails into a language of your choice. Now, many of you may have audiences that are in are reading your emails in different languages and even though they may understand what unsubscribe means, you may not want to have a single English word hanging out at the footer of your emails. Uh, it just draws attention unnecessarily and it, it, it breaks the flow of familiarity and ease for your audience. So right now I want to show you how my unsubscribe button looks. So you can see here it says unsubscribe which is in English but what if you're writing in French or Spanish or German or any, any other language, right? Um, what if you would rather have your unsubscribe button, say, in German, abmelden? Wouldn't that be nice if your entire email is in German, then your unsubscribe button is also in German? I think that would be lovely. <laughs> and uh, it's very easy to set up. It's not uh, complicated at all. You just have to know where to change that bit. So let me show you. First thing you have to do is create a custom template if you don't already have one. All right. So if you click on account, these two tabs will show up. I'm already on the second tab which says email template. Now the first three templates are default are already set up for you by ConvertKit team. They've already created three different templates for you. Now if you click into any of these default templates, you see how your emails are stylized with this code. If you want to make any changes to this code, what you need to do is create your own custom template. All right. So what you will do is Pick the style of the emails that you like, and I love the modern. This is an up updated uh, custom template that the ConvertKit team has placed in your accounts. So you 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 click on this, then grab all the content all the way down. It's going really slow for some reason. Okay, here it is. So you copy that. All right, then click all templates and now come over here to the blue button and create a new email template. Command V if you're using a Mac, paste the entire piece of code here and give it a name, custom template. And I have several different templates for different things. Uh, I'm just going to call call this Abmelden. Uh, basically, that's unsubscribe in German. Now, you've got the foundation of your custom template. And I recommend that you create a custom template basically because you have so many things you can change once you have this code laid down. You can change your link colors, you can change social media icons, you can add social media icons. There's tons of things you can do. But if you don't have this, then you'll just work with those three default templates that ConvertKit has for you, which are fine too if you want to keep it simple. That's, that's all, all good. All right, so here comes the easy peasy part. At the very bottom of this a code, you will see this section here refers to the unsubscribe button, the unsubscribe link rather. And this is the word unsubscribe that shows up at the bottom, right? Now to change this, you just type in the word that means unsubscribe in the language of your preference, of your choice. So. Uh, in German, it's abmelden, and if even if you have like multiple words, um, you know, like if you if you want to have multiple words because in your language 
unsubscribe is not just a straightforward one word, then you can add, you know, like two words. Okay, I don't think it's zoom up, it's, I think it's wrong, <laughs> but I'm just giving you an example of um, how you can add, you know, as many words as you want. So you don't, you're not restricted to just one word, right? Um, this is just to give you an idea of how you can change that. So it's very, very easy um, and it's quick. Click save and then jump into your template. You can see that it's still unsubscribed because I have to activate um, that template. So I'm going to go into settings and email template Abmeldon. I'll click over here click update sequence and when I then go into content click on browser again and it should say Abmeldon exactly right here all right so you can see that um, the actual work you need to do to change this is super quick it will probably take you like 10% of the time uh, that it took me to make this video right so it's very very fast go ahead and customize it to the language of your choice because even if people don't unsubscribe, it's really nice for your users to see consistency and coherence uh, in terms of language, right? Uh, ConvertKit is a really cool tool. And if you can keep that consistency in terms of language, it just adds to your user experience. And that is quite important. All right. So that's all, my friends. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, one thing that I want to point out is I'm starting to do live ConvertKit training. So if you go over to my blog, sophiaoja.com live, and you click on live training, you will see an opportunity to sign up. I will have a few new ones uh, in April. In the meantime, you can watch a replay of the one I had in March, uh, and it shows you how to target your content to your, your audience and, and lots of other things there. And you can also sign up here to be updated when the next training is going to happen with the exact dates. So I hope you enjoy this video and working with ConvertKit. If you have any questions about ConvertKit, please let me know. Go over to contact or just write a comment in the, in the comment sections of the blog and uh, alternatively you can Go down here and request a free tutorial on a topic of your choice and I'll be happy to make efforts and deliver that uh, tutorial to you. So I wish you all the best. Thanks for watching. Bye.